Recently, we talked about the introduction of the air quote final three maps in Modern Warfare 2 teased through an interview with Dixerto and multiplayer design director Jeff Smith, where there were some strange implications for what all that entailed. Now, yesterday, another piece of that interview was published in which it confirmed that we'll not only be seeing more than just three maps as we suspected, but also that we'll be seeing a fan favorite or perhaps fan favorites return here soon. Today, I want to run down with you this new report, some additional things that were mentioned, where Infinity Ward tries to draw a balance between remasters and new maps, and a bit of my feelings in regards to their statements in the upcoming air quote fan favorite that could be returning to Modern Warfare 2. So as we go along, drop your thoughts below on what you think of Modern Warfare 2's upcoming remasters and the balance they try to make between remade and remastered content as well as new content. What do you think this returning map could be and all things in between? If you enjoyed the video, you'll find it out on Sightful. Do me a favor and drop a like on it. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing to stay up to date with all things Modern Warfare 2, Warzone 2, and anything COD and other FPS content here on the channel. I'd love to have you in the community. And finally, check out my friends over at Game advantage for the best blue light glasses on the market, but more on them in a bit. For now, let's take a look at the new report about the upcoming multiplayer content in Modern Warfare 2 and what it means for beyond. So this new report follows up on what we discussed about the final three maps being inspired for competitive play. And by the sound of it, our assumption that it was the final three original maps is indeed what seems to be happening and not just we're only going to be seeing three maps from now until when this air quote Modern Warfare 3 launches later this fall. We'll touch on it more in a bit when we get to my thoughts and opinions on it later on down the line, but that does indeed seem to match what we've seen so far in regards to original content and not reused content through the three seasons and six and a half months we've seen so far since Modern Warfare 2 launched. Expo, Lighthouse, and Hatchery are the only maps that we've seen not in any other portion of the online experience. Shoot House and Shipment are naturally remakes. Museum was in the beta, reintroduced post-launch. To me, that doesn't count as air quote new. Dome was a Modern Warfare 3 remake or remaster. Almalik International Airport, Zaya Observatory, Satik Cave Complex, and Rohan Oil are all from Al Mazra. As is Black Gold, it's from Rohan Oil, which is retooled to be a night version of the map. Does not make that new to me. So while it seems that three is incredibly low and it is what we see for three upcoming still matches somehow what we've seen to date so far in six and a half months so that's something to consider but jeff smith ended up talking with dixerto saying we're bringing an older one back that some cdl guys they really liked when they were at our office we pivoted around that and it's coming pretty soon so that statement can be dissected into two different things firstly pretty soon is probably the easier one here to me i would guess that means season four whether that be at launch or season four reloaded but as of this being published we only have 26 days and a few hours and change away from that being season four so that's a launch date of june 14th right in line with our now seemingly normal mid-month updates that we get on a monthly basis alternating between seasonal and mid-season launches but if we can take care of that soon time frame as season four well then what map would that leave in question because that's still the big question mark cdl guys liking stuff is likely indicative of it being a competitive map in the past which that can whittle it down but not by much i mean if you look at the catalog of maps that infinity ward have had that have been using competitive play that still leaves a lot cod 4 had backlot crash crossfire district and strike modern warfare 2 had high rise invasion karachi scratch Yard and Terminal. Modern Warfare 3 had in the game battles map settings Arcaden, Bootleg, Dome, Lockdown, Sea Town, Terminal, Hard Hot, and Underground. Ghost had Freight, Octane, Warhawk, Sovereign, and Strike Zone. Infinite Warfare had Breakout, Frost, Mayday, Precinct, Scorch, Retaliation, and Throwback. And Modern Warfare 2019 had Gunrunner, Hackney Yard, Ramaza, Petrograd, Arklov Peak, Azir Cave, and Piccadilly. So, like, there's still a ton of maps to consider as possibilities, though personally I'd scrap the idea of the original Modern Warfare 2 maps coming if that rumor of the false introduction being a massive expansion of Modern Warfare 2, including all the classic Modern Warfare 2 maps holds up, so doubt we'd see any of those. But then there's still a lot that include especially classics like Crash, Arcaden, Sea Town, Underground. I'd take those and then some. Octane and Freight from Ghosts I would take, Warhawk as well. But when you get to maps from Infinite Warfare, those don't really work too much. And then Modern Warfare 2019, I can't imagine that they really add anything from the past game because that just, that would be so weird. So your guess is as good as mine as to what it could be, but it sounds like we may have at least one of those on the way at the very least. Now quantity, I do hope that we end up getting maybe not necessarily multiple of what we just listed, but more than just like two maps a season, man. Like I, I'm frustrated that we are seemingly getting strung along with maps we've already seen throughout the entirety of Modern Warfare 2 so far, as we talked about, only three maps of the post-launch content have been new and original for multiplayer. But the way recent interviews have gone with Jeff Smith here and what we've learned recently Recently, it makes it kind of seem like we're going to see minimal of them, both new and remastered or remade, which does worry me. But the next part is the part that I really want to touch on, and it's something that I think is a good discussion for the year overall. 
overall, not necessarily just what's still upcoming. So while discussing the power of nostalgia, Jeff Smith explained, to be honest, there's good, fun gameplay there. It's kind of silly to not use those things and lean into the strengths of those maps. Kind of a broken record, but it's also the balance between brand new stuff and something that's familiar. Even when we do new maps, people will say, oh, I didn't like this. This other map was way better. It feels almost like it takes some time to get used to something new. Then suddenly, two years later, they're like, oh man, Hackney Yard was a great map. But during the launch of it, you're like, that was a piece of crap. You build these memories with your friends and eventually you have those rose tinted glasses of those maps. So here's the thing. There is absolutely truth in those statements, and I definitely do agree that there's a lot of maps in COD history that when they launched, we were like, these were awful, do not ever put these in the rotation. But then there are some that we look back on that we're like, okay, those actually weren't too bad. I'd go back and play those. Even just playing Modern Warfare 2019 during like the Vanguard year last year, that happened for me a lot. I was like, oh, I enjoyed playing this map in 6v6, 10v10, and why did I not really like it during the main year of support? So in that regard, I absolutely do agree with that sentiment, and that absolutely absolutely is a valid reply to that in a sense. But the truth that I see here of this is that just Infinity Ward is like looking in the wrong place when making these statements. I don't think that people are really upset about remasters ever really coming back in that sense where, yes, you can give us nostalgia, but the problem that I see, at least myself, is that we're getting remasters and remakes but nothing new. You can absolutely play on nostalgia, but don't neglect genuinely new content and the potential opportunities for new maps to thrive. That's always been my biggest problem so far with the post-launch season of Modern Warfare 2 is that we haven't had much of anything original. Only three original 6v6 maps since October 28th, since the game launched. That's six and a half months where the majority of the content we've seen has either been retooled, repurposed, or just straight up reintroduced from a different game. Season one was entirely all remakes. We didn't get original content in there on the multiplayer side. Of course, you add Almazra, you add DMZ and Battle Royale introduced, which was a new experience to the Call of Duty franchise, but from the multiplayer perspective, talking exclusively for that front and focusing on this portion of the discussion to stay on topic, that was something that we did not get anything new in terms of maps. Season two, we didn't get anything new either until it was a sort of reactionary thing that at the mid-season update, we'd end up getting Expo. That was even said from Infinity Ward that it was going to be something introduced later on down the line in later seasons, but was trending better than other maps. So they were able to bring that up and release it early. So that's to me the part that I don't really care if you introduce classic maps, I'm all for that, but do that on top of new experiences. Do that in addition not neglecting or taking the place of original content that could be made. Because when I look at Modern Warfare 2, I don't like being a negative person, but there is just so much of this game that at its core is reused and isn't necessarily a new experience. I mean, the thing that I was talking to with Zach or Immortal yesterday was about even all the way back since before the launch of the game, after the beta on PC started leaking stuff, there were the camos that ended up coming out that it showcased really, I think to a degree, most of the camos that we ended up seeing at launch and immediately I kind of wrote that off because I was like oh there are so many of those camos that are exactly the same as what we saw within Modern Warfare 2019 there's no way that those aren't placeholders but then it ended up happening so when you look at even just stuff like that like there's just there's just so much that yes you can play off nostalgia but that's not what people are getting upset about it's the fact that you're only playing on that kind of stuff or for the most part only again coming back to it three original maps in six and a half months of post-launch content, that to me is why people are upset with the offering that we've seen so far. Not because they're not a fan of new experiences. Now, granted, will I say that Expo, Lighthouse, as well as Hatchery are good maps? Not really. I personally don't mind Lighthouse in 10v10. I don't mind Expo in 10v10. Hatchery, still not really a fan of. And I think that ultimately, these maps are just way too big for the core experience. You have to, again, make it almost in a 10v10 where it is enjoyable. But here's the thing, dude. I would rather see a swing and a miss than not swinging at all. Because just simply by the law and probability of numbers here, the more you end up taking those swings, the more you're gonna get a hit. The more you're gonna have something that is really enjoyed, really liked by players. You're not gonna know if you don't take that chance. So absolutely, play off nostalgia all you want, but 
to not do it at the expense of new content. So that's where I'm at here with this. That was kind of my take on the entire thing that came out of the last couple of days here in regards to that Dexerto interview. But that I think is where we can call it. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts down below. What do you guys think here of this? Are you looking forward to any classic coming back here? Potentially a competitive map from the past? Are you guys looking forward to any of the original maps upcoming? Do you hope that we get more than just what seems like a minimal effort in regards to multiplayer content? What are the case? Drop your thoughts below. Before we wrap everything up, Again, make sure you check out my friends over at Gamer Advantage. Best blue light glasses on the market. I've worked with these guys now for two plus years, and they've without a doubt been one of the most beneficial partners I've worked with in terms of my daily productivity. I sit at a desk in front of a monitor for eight to 10 hours a day, so I've absolutely felt the effects of blue light, eye fatigue, and some tougher times trying to fall asleep at night. And absolutely, I would highly recommend Gamer Advantage. If you guys would like to learn more, links in the description below where you can check out any of the clinical studies, the science behind all of it, and anything in between. And if you guys want to pick up the most comfortable light, weight and durable frames for yourself use code espresso at the link down there in the description below but that said that is where we're going to wrap it up so again drop your thoughts down below if you enjoyed the video you can find it at all insightful do me a favor and drop a like on it and if you're new to the channel consider subscribing to stay the day with all things modern warfare 2 warzone 2 and anything cod related but for now thanks so much for watching my name is espresso i'll see you guys later take care and peace